I'm in the Dern Valley in Yorkshire on a very tricky mission. England's most threatened bird lives here, and that's who we're hoping to find. This bird is right on the brink of extinction. I really hope we can find them. I'm going to play a recording of the Willow Tit song, and hopefully some birds will come in to investigate who it is that's singing. It's a technique that you can't use too many times, otherwise the birds get wise to it. It's a bit like hearing the same chat-up line too many times in a row. No willow tits. Looks like they're wise to it. There's one more place where I think we might be in with a chance of having a glimpse. Back from the Brink Partners put out these bird feeders at this time of year to help the willow tits survive through the winter. The feeders bring in lots of other birds too. Great tits. Long-tailed tits. Blue tits. And coal tits. But still no willow tits. Then finally, after a long wait, they appeared. Willow tits have declined catastrophically over the past 50 years. Over 94% of them have been lost because their habitats have been taken over by our towns and cities. And that's why Back From The Brink partners are working hard to save these last remaining refuges. It's amazing to see this tiny bird in these places that we've forgotten. It's a symbol of how nature can reclaim our industrial wastelands. Be part of the solution. Volunteer at your local nature reserve in town or in the country and find out which awesome animals and plants are living there. Share this film. Protect our natural wealth. We can't live without it. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. Its aim is to save 20 species in England, all of whom are in danger of going extinct. In the process, Back from the Brink will also protect many more of England's wild animals and plants, upon whom we all depend. It's the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one single focus. And it's this power of working together that's really making things happen. Much of this success is down to local people. So far, over 2,000 of them have volunteered their time for Back From The Brink. This amounts to over 4,000 hours. That's over 10 years of working days given for free to help protect our wild spaces and our wildlife. Incredible. <laughs>